like these pants like I do, keep on watching so you can get you some too. What it do is Shabu Big K, aka Kaya Amari. Thank you so much. If you're coming back, tuning back in with my channel, you are loved and you are supported here. Thank you so much. And if you are new, thank you for tuning back in with me. So today we're gonna be distressing some jeans. Um, I'm just showing you how to stress my jeans. Hopefully, this can inspire you if you like any technique that I'm doing. So, right here, I'm just going in with some real small every other one. So, on one side, I'm cutting to the right, and then after I'm done with these, I'm gonna cut to the left side of the cut. So, I started off cutting directly down the middle not directly down the middle little slits down the middle and then going through every other one and cutting it in the opposite direction okay so what i like to do i like to take my hand and just drag it along where we made the cuts it just makes step two easier when you're done cutting your pants so this i really love this look especially if you're wearing like a wedge or a little heel or something it really makes the bottom of your pants leg pop but um those cuts around the bottom like cuff of your pants those are so cute to me if you wear like gym shoes it can drag but if you have a heel on girl you <laughs> you, you gonna be stepping everywhere you go i promise now this is a traditional bunch set of rips so you're just gonna cut straight across and it's usually about four to six slits that go straight across okay so this is just me piggybacking off of what i was talking about at the bottom this is a actual visual of me doing it and i'm just using some old kitchen scissors um fabric scissors would probably be best though now this is a little bit of a fun more particular part now i'm putting a heart you don't have to do this like i said this is for inspirational purposes only you can do any type of design you want to do you feel me and just go for it like the worst you could do is whatever you want to do um and just cut out if you do the heart i would go a little deeper at the top but yeah it came out decent though okay so now i'm flipping the pants to the back and i'm just doing some small half slits nothing too major i really didn't want to make the back of the pants too busy so i'm doing about four to five half slits okay so we're done with these pants now we're moving on to the next pair of pants so this pair of pants i wanted a more sophisticated and a thought out look rather than just a free for all nothing is wrong with a free for all because i obviously love that too but these i wanted a i had a more of a specific look and idea in mind so i decided to go in with a pen um this is like a real washable like not a permanent pen at all not a marker before i put the scissors to it i made sure i sketched out exactly how i wanted it um so i made a heart in the back of the pants pocket so if you want to you can always save the scraps for another project um I used to do that all the time and create new stuff, but if that's not in your heart, do not do it. But, you know, don't waste anything because anything can be renewed into something beautiful. I promise. And I'm creating these little slits on the side like that. And we're going to put it in the washing machine to see what we come up with. Let's just be honest. Now let's just be real, y'all. I love how these came out. Like, they came out exactly how I thought. This heart was a little bit slanted, and the point at the top could be a little bit sharper. But overall, I like these pants. It's a little baggy. You're definitely going to need a belt. But yeah, I like those. These, out of the two, I think these were my favorite. Um, yeah, I was a lot more organized when making these. And they're a little bit more fitted than the last ones. I think they're just so cute. Like, you can dress these up or you can dress these down. Like, it's so much you can do with a good set of baggy distressed jeans. 
so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching bye